Blessed Sunday to all. The theme that runs through, most specifically, from the first reading to the responsorial psalm and to the gospel reading, which is a parable, is centered on the vineyard. And it is very much acknowledged you know, that the vineyard is actually Israel. Now, this interesting image that is captured in the parable of today's gospel reading, cast in a parable, but it is in reality a predictive parable. And what do we mean by predictive parable? It's predicting and it is talking about Jesus himself. He is actually giving them the imagery or the picture of what is going to happen to him. Well, parables are always like that. They bring us into higher levels of, of meaning so that we can actually accommodate and we can identify. But this particular parable in this gospel reading is very special, very specific, because Jesus is already prophesying about what is going to happen to him. The terminologies that are used are just common, uh, what we call day-to-day -day, uh, expressions. But when it comes to the son that the landowner was sending and that what happened to that son, he already was talking about himself. In fact, there are interesting geographical setting here that can be best understood and underscored as Jesus' uh, imminent death actually happened. What happened to the son? What did the tenants do to the son according to the parable today? They seized him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. This is a very important geographical context because during the time of Jesus, Golgotha, or the place where Jesus was crucified, is considered outside the city. And if you study the, geog the, the geography, the ge geographical setting of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem has three walls. Okay? The first wall, the second wall, and the third wall. And during the time of Jesus, he was killed, he was crucified at Mount Calvary, which was outside the city gates. And so this is a very beautiful parable. However, the message still lingers and is still very much continuously appropriated by all of us. It may be talking first and foremost in the first level about the vineyard, the beloved of God, the people of Israel. But as a vineyard, as it is planted, it is being hedged, it is being cared for, it is being cultivated, it is even being pruned. The people that God had chosen first failed in some ways or in one way or another. But the beautiful story emerges because as the chosen people failed, the vineyard is now entrusted to other people who are worthy to give produce at the proper time. And that is basically talking about us. And even in our context, bisan sa ato ang sitwasyon, kung dili na ito ni Mahimo ang mga ato ang mga involvements, ang ato mga commitments, na po'y lain nga mo take over. Pero samtang kaya pa nato sa ato ang uh, sa atong kusog, we try our very best to cultivate and give the produce that is needed, that is actually asked from the, from the God who is the owner of the vineyard. In our day-to-day -day living, sa atong adlaw-adlaw nga pagpakighilambigit sa atong mga kaigsuunan, we are continuously being pruned. We are continuously cultivating the very beautiful gift that the vineyard is all about our faith. But then there are times that we actually are put into a kanang sitwasyon ba nga maglisod ta. But do not forget nga bisan sa atong kalisod, there are also people who are going to help us. And that is a continuous process. Mauna nga, the bottom line of this is what we receive as faith or what the faith that we have received is also handed down to the next generations through examples and through not just through the, the words that we mince, but also through the witness that we are doing. 
And this constant handing on down from one generation to the next generation for, uh, forever and ever is God's way of telling us that he owns the vineyard and the vineyard is his greatest gift because it is not just only Israel now, but we too are part of the vineyard. And the Gospel of St. John is very beautiful about, he, about this imagery. What is the famous image, one of the famous images in the Gospel of John about Jesus teaching his disciples and all of us? What did he say in that Gospel? He says, I am the vine and you are the branches. Okay? Apart from me, you will not bear fruit. But since you are a part of me, and Christianity, by the way, technically speaking, or in reality, is a vineyard, is a vine being grafted into Israel. And even the, the Jewish people accepts and um, embraces that. And that is practically we Christians. And so our responsibility is as good as theirs, and we join even if we are walking on different, different pathways and directions. Because at, as one beautiful Israelite singer would say, even if we are walking on parallel grounds, if we hold on, if we keep holding our hands together, we will journey and we will reach the same destination. After all, we are God's people. Amen.